Hi guys, welcome back to more Palmer from the Ashes on the Force Nights YouTube channel, continuing the Palmer series on Football Manager 2016. And in today's video, we are now challenging for the Serie D Scudetto. In the last video, we won promotion to the Liga Pro by winning our group by a point in the end. It was four points, but we played a dumb team at the end and lost 2-0 to uh, the guys behind us. But it didn't matter, we were through anyway, so uh, that is what has happened there. We are now going for the Scudetto. So if you missed out, uh, this is how it works. Here it is. Uh, board expectations for this is not important. So I would like to win this, but it doesn't really matter if we do not. So there are nine teams. Of course, there are nine groups in Serie D. The winners of each go into this. Three groups of three. Uh, the th top three group winners go through to the semi-finals, including the best runner-up. We're against Aversa, Normana and Venezia, who have done very very well in their groups as well. Uh, Normana haven't lost since November, and Venezia have not lost many games at all throughout the whole thing. So we'll see how we do. We're going to jump straight into it and play both semi both group games today. In the next video, if we get to it, we'll have the semi-final and the final, depending on how far we get. If not, then this will be the last video of the season, and then I'll have like a... Um, I don't know if I'll do like a sort of a video in between, or if I'll just jump straight to, straight to the first game of the season. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because usually I do need, you know, a bit like a fair bit of time to um, prepare for the newest season. You know, there's a big transfer window and there's pre-season. So, I don't know when that will be ready. We'll, we'll see. But let's jump straight into the game today then. First of all, we're against Venezia. Or Venice. Uh, they're going to play 4-4-2 it seems. So what team are we going to go with? Let me pick. Okay, so for the first game, we're going to go with uh, this team. So Ingo Stojanovic, back four of Avorno, Saporetti, Simic is playing instead of Lucarelli. Going to give him some games here, because we haven't seen a lot of him. And fans are complaining that we haven't seen enough of him, so we're playing him today. Aguay at right back. Milieta and Botta, the first choice midfield pairing. We're going to stay with them. Zekin on left wing, Karapi on the right wing, Molinaro playing in the hole uh, as a attacking midfielder on attack. Melandri up front as advanced forward on the bench. Cotticelli, Coliaco, Lucarelli, Rodriguez, Barai, Sereni, Rivas, Scapuzzi, and Guazzo. Uh, actually, I'm going to swap Massetti for Guazzo. We'll do that. Okay, so proceed. Let's see what we can do here then. Uh, so not all that important if we don't we'll get through this, but we'll see if we, we'll do the best we can. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say the media have been praising you lately, but don't let that put pressure on your performance. Okay, lots of people listening keenly. Let's see if we can get a win here. Here we go. So it was miles away then. We actually had a highlight. We just got a goal. Um, I was looking at the latest scores. We don't need them because they're scores from other groups. We don't need them. We've scored. <laughs> I was completely blanked out then. I'm sorry. Uh, we do have a goal. Okay, so I haven't seen this yet. So what happened? So Karate put a cross in. Sanuta with a header. Milieta's uh, effort came off one of the defenders. The goalkeeper, I'm not sure what he's doing there. But Milieta has an open goal. He can't miss. And he doesn't. That was a strange one. No possible second goal here. It's uh, back with us. Melandri on the ball. Not quite half an hour played. Alborno now on the ball. Finds uh, the defender Saporetti. Nice ball back to Alborno. The cross is in. Melandri is there at the near post. 2-0. We haven't played half an hour yet. This is looking very good. So here we go. Saporetti back to Alborno who kept it in play. The cross first time was brilliant. And Melandri was the first person to it. And he puts it in. And we are 2 0 up against Venezia here. This is very nice stuff. Uh, very pleased with your performance. Keep it going, lads. Nice. Good team talk. Uh, not going to change anything. It's obviously working what we're doing, so no need to. Here we go. Second half underway. Obviously, Venezia will want to be making changes to try and get this uh, game back to level pegging, but we'll see what they've done. They have made a change. It's a tactical one. Um, their left. They've got a knock to their um, left midfielder, so we could take advantage of that. Let's exploit the right flank until they maybe comes off. But we're on the ball here. Here's Molinaro to Botta. Back to Milieta. Botta again. Need to move forward here. He does so. Molinaro to Melandri. He's got Karapi to the right of him. He's been picked out. Melandri to Molinaro, who has a shot. Karapi's over the rebound, and Scotty, the keeper, saves it. But... Good stuff so far. We are dominating this game still. I'm going to move Zekin into the middle. Aborno, I'm going to move into left midfield. Drop him a bit deeper. We're going to move Saporetti to the left. This is all very confusing what I'm doing here. Koliakos are going to come on for Milieta. Sereni is going to come on for Molinaro. Because we have to have another under-18 under player on 
so that we can take off Molinaro. It's all very, very confusing. I don't know if these rules are the same during the Lego Pro, or I'll have to look into it, but we're 2-0 up here with 15 minutes left. We're looking very good for this group. Saporetti going to get a ball in. He found Alborno. He put Sereni in. 3-0. This is excellent stuff. Sereni, with there's a third goal of the season, didn't play for sort of the first half of the season, but he's come in, and he has actually done very, very well. Hopefully we can keep him. Hopefully he will keep it up in the new season when we play up in the Lego Pro. There's not long left now. It's going to be a nice 3-0 win, and we can go into the game against Aversa, and we are very much in control of this group with a 3-0 win in our first game. Now our next game is only in three days, so that is a bit of an issue there that we are probably going to have to rest some players because of fitness. So uh, I will look into that and see if we can try and keep some players fit. We'll see what we can do and try and put out a decent team for that one. And I'll see you very shortly for that game. Also, there are also relegation playoffs as well. Romagna Centro and Samaresi are relegated from our from our league along with, who are the bottom two? Lignago and someone. Oh, so that's interesting. So like, Nianago and Mitsalaro were the bottom two, and then the next four were in the relegation playoff. The two lowest ones of those actually stayed up, and Samaresi and Romania Centro were actually relegated. That's interesting. Uh, here we go. So we're out of the game now. Hopefully this uh, camera won't stop going. It stops after after half an hour, because it's only my phone. It's surprisingly a good camera. Uh, okay, so I don't think there's a lot that's going to need changing. We don't have another game for a while. So I don't think I'm going to make any changes to this team because they didn't do too badly. Yeah, I'm not making any changes. So let's submit it. We're going to keep the tactics the same. Even though we're away from home, I'm going to keep the tactics the same against a team that hasn't lost since November. This is going to be tough. Okay. Pick up where you left off. That's a good team tool. Lots of them seeming uh, motivated. Oh my God, look at this pitch. How small is this pitch? It's it's a square. I've seen these before. A square pitch. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, what do you do on a square pitch? So I'm assuming that on the last day, the last Sunday or Saturday, whenever it's going to be, uh, Aversa and Venezia play each other. So um, we're playing our both of our games first. So Aversa actually have a bit of a bit of an sorry Venezia have actually have a bit of an advantage that they have a bigger gap between their fixtures. So they do have a bit of an advantage. We can still beat them 3-0 and they're still going to be bottom of the table. Even if we don't win this game, I think it still puts us in a good position as the best runner-up because we have a 3-0 win from our first game. But they could score here and they have scored. Del Gaudio has put uh, Aversa ahead. Right. Uh, I'm going to a counter-star because they're winning more, they're having more of the ball than us. Go fluid. Instructions. What do you do on a... Um, right, we're going to go high tempo. Fairly wide, close down more. Uh, more direct. Because obviously there isn't a lot of space, so you can't really do a short passing style. We've got the ball here, first time we're seeing us on the ball. 15 minutes played, we're 1 0 down. Saporetti on the ball, finds Molinaro. Here is Botta to Milieta to Molinaro to Alborno, Botta to Zekin. To Botta. This is good stuff. I'm liking this. Molinaro. Melandri. Shoot. That's a goal. 1-1. One, one. Quick reply there. Very happy with that. 13 goals this season for Melandri. That's fantastic. Really well done by him. This is a really nice goal. Molinaro. Great ball to Melandri. And he sort of delayed it a bit. But he had the shot. Di Martino got a hand to it. But it went under him pretty much. And that's 1-1. One, one. They're on the ball here again. Now Kapua is uh, on the ball. Passes back to Marquitza. Giacomini to Gatto, Capua, passes Gatto rather, here is Gatto again, Marquisa, Capucha, Casa Grande, Big House, his name's Big House, what was his mother's name that he scored, <laughs> I'm making jokes about him when he scored a goal, Casa Grande means Big House, you go Big House, nice name, it's 2-1, this isn't working so far, um, they're having a lot of the ball, they've been very clinical, 5 out of 6 shots on target, Right, okay, that's half time. Uh not happy. Uh but prove a point. Yes. Um but I am gonna assertively say that I wasn't happy with the defending. Um I'm making a change because Zekin has been poor today, so I'm gonna put Barai on. 
Uh, we're going to try an inside forward. Let's go structured. Let's see if that hurt. works. I don't know what to do. I mean, this pitch has flummoxed me. Milieta to Molinaro. No, nope, that's the end of the highlight. Don't see what happens there. Carapi's been poor today as well. 6.4 for him. And he's captain today as well. This hasn't been, hasn't been the best game. Possession is a bit more equal now. We've had nine shots. So we're not doing badly. It's just um, our defending's been poor today. And they're struggling a bit now. I'm going to take off uh, Milieta. And I'm going to put on Walter Rodriguez. I don't think it's the end of the world if we lose this. Because I think we can still come second and do, and probably still be best runners up. But we'll see. It's 80 minutes played now. Uh, I need to go for another striker. So uh, we're going to... What can we do? Right, Botter is struggling as well. We're going to take off Botter. We're going to go for two strikers. Uh, and we're going to put Massetti up there as well. As a poacher. And we're going to go attacking. Could see a goal yet here. But here's Panico. Don't Panico. They haven't scored another one yet. Gatto. You watch them score now. Because I'm making jokes. Or Casa Grande puts it wide. Big House. His name's Big House. Right. Looks like it's going to be a 2 under feet here. It's not the end of the world. Uh, they've got a corner here though. Right at the end of the game. Cleared away. That's full time. That's not the end of the world. I'm not too disappointed about that. That's three points. Uh, disappointed you can grab a win and secure qualification for the semi-finals. So, of course, in the other game now, if um, Avertsia avoid defeat, then we finish second. With a plus two goal difference, that's not too bad. Scoring four goals. So, we need Venezia to win. And even then, if Venezia win by more than two goals, we still won't be top. So, a lot could happen. Uh, I'm going to see what happens, and I'll join you when that has cleared up. Because uh, we could finish anywhere in this group. We don't know. Okay, today's the day we find out how what happens here. So, we need Venezia to win, but not by too much. Otherwise, they will uh, beat us. We can't finish bottom. So, if we finish second, we need to be in a... We we need to be the best runners up if Venezia win by more than two. If they if they win by two or less, that's fine. If Normana avoid defeat, then we still come second. So we just need Venezia to win by a little bit. Venezia won one nil, so we still finish top, I think. We have qualified for the semi final. Good. Vito Zini is injured, he's a youngster, it's fine, we won't be playing him. Right. So did we go through as the winners of the group? I think we did. Oops, we did. We won the group. Everyone got three points. We had the better goal difference, so we win. So we find out who we get in the semi-finals now. Who is possible? So we've got Gozano, who were the winners of Group A. And they've been doing pretty well. They haven't lost since the end of January. They won both of their group games. So they're do they, they, they look pretty good. We've got Monza, who... They relegated from the Lega Pro. They got a win and a draw in their games. And again, they haven't lost many games. In fact, they've only lost one, two, three, four league games all season. Finally, we've got Rossa Blue Potenza. Who... How have they been doing? They had a draw and a win as well. But their port form in the Serie D has been patchy to say the least. So I think that would be the best case scenario is Rossa Blue. Let's see who we get. We'll do this now. We've got Gozano. Okay. That's not too bad. They have just got promoted from the Excellenza last season. So they are newly promoted to Serie D and they've gone straight up again. So that's interesting. Uh, were they the runners up? Who, who were the best runners up? Let me see. That's see we've drawn. How can you see the best runners up? Monza, okay. So we've got Godzana who won Group A. So next time, is this a two-legged affair or not? It is a two-legged affair, it seems. Okay, so it looks like it is going to be two legs against Godzano. So I'll bring you those next episode. Uh, and then the one after that, if we get there, we'll have the final. And I'll do like a whole wrap-up. And then after that, we'll probably be a break of a day or two. So that I can do, sort of prepare the pre-season and stuff and go through some transfers. So there will probably be a day in between that and the next season. But that's it. Uh, so that's going to do it. So we did get through the group. 
just three points for everybody. Everyone got a win. You get a win. You get a win. Everyone gets a win. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Leave in a comment if you want to make. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next episode where we'll face Gozano in two legs for the Serie D Scudetto uh, place in the final. Wow, that was a mess. See you next time. Goodbye.